target right near the surface. Here's my first target here. The ground's really hard today here. The roots are super, super dense here, man. So I'm saying every time you go to a site, it's different, man. The grass is so active, it changes so much, man. Especially week to week, like if you hunt every weekend, the grass changes, man. It could be tall today and it could be short tomorrow. It could be wet today, it could be dry tomorrow, all right? And the diff different times of the year, the grass grows differently. You know, certain times of the year, the grass will grow slow. Certain times of the year, the grass will be dormant. Certain times of the year, the, the thatch will be really thick. Certain times of the year, the roots of the grass will be really thick. Certain times of the year, the, the, the uh, soil will be really hard, compacted. <clears throat> certain times of the year, the, the soil will be really mushy and wet. The conditions change so much, man. I'm in VCO program, just turn it on. I haven't ground bounce yet. 44 discrimination here. Very strong, very strong rejection tone here. So I'm gonna see if I can get this one out of the ground here. It's um, it's deeper. I'm not gonna dig that one up. It's gonna be too big here. I'm gonna look at my numbers here. 45, I think I'll dig this one up here. That's really soft ground here, very soft here. A little bit of cancel off right there. So, yeah. The ground's really soft com right here compared to up there where I just started at. There's some cancel off there. Dig for this one too. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard to find. I'm not gonna find it. No. Oh, it's up here. Screw, iron. The day is two is really hot on screws, so. The way I'm running in this program here, it's really hot on the screws. With a zero silencer, right? This BCO program is really hot on the bottle caps and the screws. I don't have to run it hot on the screws or bottle caps with this program, but I just choose to. Iron for sure. It's kind of overloading here a little bit. I'll go to zero auto response here. Zero auto response here. Let's see what we've got going on here. It says 63 on there. This one could be a deeper pull tab here. It just sounds big here. It's 
I'm gonna dig a bigger hole here. Boy, am I gonna find this one? Oh boy. Wasn't very deep at all. It's something small here. It's a nickel right there. Wonder why it's overloading so easy. Um, I have my auto response to zero here and it's still overloading on the soil here. It's different every day though. The, 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 there's a little bit of dew on the ground still, but that's not gonna affect it too much here. Let's see what's happening here. And I got a couple coins. Really? Jim said he hasn't gotten one good beep yet. Deal right in front of everybody right over there. With the, with the uh, no, right up on top of the hill there? Right there. Oh, oh yeah. Got a road up on the bike and hand them the stuff and they hand them money. Bottle cap right there, junk, iron. It was not a bottle cap, that was um, some junk there, some deep, big junk. I'm gonna go to full tones here, it's not. It's, it's not performing well. Um, this program is not performing well. I'm just gonna go to the um, hot program, FMF. I'll just screw it up higher here. I have it usually set at zero, but I'm gonna screw it up a little bit higher here. Kind of cherry pick a little bit. I'll go to 40, 44 here. And then um, I'm gonna go to discrimination, back to discrimination and the offset seven, um, I'll go to nine there. I'll go a little bit higher with my discrimination here. 46 here, 46 here. Ground balance. There we go. What'd you say you had that you should have brought? The egg cartons. Oh, egg cartons, yeah. Let me try that. Sounds kind of junky. I smell dog crap, dude. Real bad. Done? Boy, these woots sure are thick today. It's a penny, copper. Right there. Two cents. Three cents. Oh yeah. Two point six cents is how much a penny is worth. A copper penny is worth in melt value. Go ring. Oh boy, some EMI here. That's right. Right here is I get a lot of EMI right in this area here with all my detectors Right in the spot on the field anyway. Right here. Oh, you got it. Try okay. that right in there. Big piece of foil. Right. Right here? Uh, a little towards you right there. That's where I thought. You think it's foil? Yeah, sounds like something big. Foil oh my seal. God, I forgot again to fix my handle. It's freaking deep, dude. It's got to be some deep foil, man. Yeah, super, super deep. Yeah, here. super, super deep. Might be a little bit deeper here. Yeah, I'll use my hand to ground this one here. That was a foil? Yeah. It's a nickel. It's a nickel? Really? Look how, look how thin it is. Oh wow, it's tacoed, yeah. Wasted nickel, man. That 
sounds really big. Overload. junk Getting away from that hot area over there. See, it just changed from right there to over here. It changed dramatically. There's certain areas of the park that are hot spots, like around these trees here. I'll go over there. I'll go over the trees over here. It's a hot spot. It's just like that over there. A hot spot over here. Large iron. See, right over here. Listen to it. It gets really busy right over here. Some people wonder, well, why, why do you need to hear all that crap? You're not gonna dig that stuff up, those tones up, all those grunty, irony, rejection tones. I wanna know that I'm over a hot spot. So when I do get over a hot spot, <clears throat> I know how my detector is responding to that hot spot. If I walk over that hot spot with all that stuff discriminated and silent discrimination, I don't know, I just walked over a spot that I should be swinging slower and I should be in a different tonal, tonal setup or change my discrimination or change my reactivity. Um, that's how I can, I can really tune my detector if I can hear the ground and hear everything in the ground so I know what to adjust. I know what to adjust my auto response. I know how to adjust my reactivity. I know how to adjust my um, tonal options. I know how to adjust my discrimination. I know how to adjust my silencer. I usually keep my silencer at zero anyway. But if I can't hear anything, I don't know how to adjust my detector. It's just like a, it's just like a, a, um, a detector that doesn't have a ground balance on it, right? It's just a set ground balance. I don't know how my detector's responding to the soil if I cannot hear the soil, right? Super important, man. To, to really to, to be to be getting more targets out of this area right here, right here there's a good one right here there's a little bleep right here Jim has found two gold rings underneath this tree right in this area <clears throat> so he's got to dig targets up like this right these iffy ones right? these roots distort the tones too right there Sounds junky, but these roots are gonna distort the tones big time. Right there, part of a bottle cap. Part of a bottle cap. You can see the rust in the soil there. Something was underneath that bottle cap right there. 
biết nếu straw <cười> a pull tab right there under a bottle cap <clears throat> you see the rust in the soil that red rust right there where the bottle cap was sitting for the longest time until it started deteriorating all right the stomp on this plug really good really disturbed the ground a lot there to get that out there the stomp on it really good there right there Well, thank you for watching.